what is a pacemaker and how can that get your heartbeat back on track? Well, I'm going to cover that in today's video, so stay tuned and don't go anywhere. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and today we're going to talk about a pacemaker and how that can help get your heart back on track if there's an irregular heartbeat. So I'm going to cover that in the next section. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and today we're going to talk about a pacemaker. So a pacemaker is a small battery-operated device that helps your heart beat in a regular rhythm. It does this with a small electric stimulation that helps your heart to beat regularly. Your doctor puts the pacemaker under the skin on your chest, just under your collarbone, and it's hooked up to your heart with tiny little wires. And so you can see how in this picture here, the sinus bradycardia is a heartbeat of less than 60 beats per minute, and the slower pace reduces the amount of blood flow to all parts of your body. So you want normal blood flow, and the pacemaker device is implanted under the skin just below the collarbone. A tiny wire called a lead is placed from the device to the inside of the ventricle wall, so you can see how it kind of flows through and goes into the heart. And it's just kind of gauging the electrical impulses that are going on. It, it's so fascinating how your, your body uses electricity, basically, to operate properly, and there's full of energy, right? I mean, kind of going back to like chemistry and molecules and atoms and all that stuff, but yeah, it's, it's so cool to see vibrational frequencies in this level here. All right, we're going to hit next, and when we hit that, we're going to see normal rhythm restored. So the electrical signals from the device are delivered through the implanted lead and you can see how it starts to get abnormal and then boom there's that kind of electrical signal to kind of get it back. Um, and so pacing, the pacemaker device delivers rhythmic electrical signals to stimulate the ventricles to contract. And so it's basically almost like telling your heart what to do. It's like your heart is not working properly for whatever reason and it's kind of like a swift kick in the pants, so to speak, but it's through electrical signals and done in the heart with the pacemaker. So a pacemaker is just a small battery operated device, and this is similar to the ICD video that I did, and basically it can measure your heart rate and figure out if it's out of balance or out of whack, and then give a little shock or give a little electrical impulse to get it back on track every time something is not operating properly which is really cool technology and for many people it can save their lives or it does save their lives in that regard because you definitely don't want an irregular heartbeat that affects your whole body <laughs> so blood proper blood flow in and out of the heart is always going to be key um, and this kind of just helps that and just kind of goes to show how electrical impulses are so important you know a lot of times you think electricity like in your house or something or you know but it's it's there's electricity running through our body <laughs> yeah vibrational frequencies and all that stuff and our heart is no different which is really really cool your body's so amazing so it's really just trying to understand you know always focus on the root cause and prevention of things and doing your research getting that fact-based information and really digging deep and getting second third or even fourth opinions about your health is going to be super important and before you kind of do any repair or procedure or anything like that so that includes an md a naturopath a homeopath or even somebody like myself where you're looking to kind of get that guidance and fact-based information to make the best educated decision about your health. Because an educated consumer is the best consumer and that allows you to do what's best for you, not just what somebody wants you to do. But that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you can watch more videos like this one or click one of the links in the description box below so you can continue to get your learn on.